what's up guys so sean here we're headed back out to another camping trip this time we're headed out to juniper prairie wilderness area in the ocala national forest um we're doing a just a solo overnight trip tonight uh don't have sarah with me don't have the dogs with me um i'm actually gonna be going out there to scout out a new area and uh buddy a uh, buddy of mine Ian told me about this area he actually pinned it on a map for me so uh, we're gonna head out there and see what this place is about let's get it That is a big pile of bear poop. Okay, so I feel like I've been here before. Um, the GPS is kind of recentering every now and then. It'll tell me it's we're two minutes away, and then it'll tell me we're ten minutes away. Then it'll go off, come back on. And this road we're on here, I have passed several big piles of bear poop. So I'm avoiding the sugar sand and hopefully I'll be able to find where we're trying to camp. So um, I'll get back with you here in just a minute. Okay, you see that pile of bear poop? Now I want to show you something. The GPS says, if you can see that, hopefully, GPS says we are one minute away from where we need to park. That's pretty close. poop right on the trail okay so I uh, am headed back in here to this campsite struggling a little bit I've got on new boots um, which is a bad idea when you're hiking in but I got to get them broke in somehow and I mean they're not that bad but uh, I'm seeing bear poop all over the place so it should be a good trip um, but I guess that's enough talking we need to get back on the trail source if we need it uh, I've been told that there's water closer to camp but if we can't find water at least we know where to come back to I've got the Sawyer mini and we can filter out some water if we need to okay so the spot that we had picked out um, you know like a lot of times I got here there was already some people uh, set up over there so we just gotta look around find us another spot that's what it's all about you know you gotta learn how to just roll with the punches sometimes so we're gonna go over here and see if we can find us another spot to camp okay so we're having to do a little bushwhacking here found this pond over here we're gonna walk around the edge of it a little bit and see if we can find a place to camp. This is right on a, a animal trail, so 
I don't know if this would be the best place to go, but we're gonna walk around here. I'd like to try to find somewhere that somebody's already camped before rather than scarring the place up with another fire. So I'm gonna walk through here, see what we can find. If we can't find anything suitable, then we'll go back to another spot in there. Keeping an eye out for snakes and stuff through here. This tall grass is kind of a a bad spot to be. Look out for stuff like cactuses like that. I don't believe that this is going to be a good spot. I believe there's too much game trail here and I haven't seen a campsite yet that anybody else has stayed at. So I think we're going to make our way back around and try to find another one. Okay, so rather than intrude on these folks camp, I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack and go back to this other spot that I seen earlier. Uh, it's a little bit more walking, but it's just a shorter trip out in the morning. So let's get back over there. Now this looks like it would be a good spot. The only problem is that spot right there is basically dead center of the trail that's coming through here. So those folks that are back there camping would have to walk right through here tomorrow morning. And I don't necessarily want them to have to detour around my camp because I set up right in the middle of the trail. That's not very courteous. Okay guys, so I found this spot here. It looks like somebody's had a fire here in the not too distant past. And uh, I've you know, the wind's kind of blowing in um, from the side here, so I think if I set my tarp up right, we should be pretty good on that. I'm gonna build just a small fire here. I'm not gonna build anything crazy. This pine straw around here is dry and uh, wouldn't wanna cause any problems. So with it being windy, we're gonna be very careful how we build our fire. And uh, I think if I set everything up right tonight, I shouldn't need the fire for warmth. I've got my under quilt that I made and I've got a way to set that tarp up. I think it's gonna work pretty good. So, um, but we're starting to lose daylight. I got a late start this morning. Um, I planned on getting up early this morning and getting out here a little quicker. But, you know, since I was coming by myself today, I decided I'd hang out around the house and spend a little time with my wife this morning. So. Uh, that's well worth it for getting a little bit of a late start. So, um, but I'm going to quit running my mouth now and I'm going to get this stuff set up. Okay. Now I've got my tarp and the hammock set up with the underquilt. I know it looks a little unconventional to you, but I want to take you around here and show you what I've done and why I've done it. So, if you look, see the backside dips off there. Now, I'm gonna take you over there and show you why I've done it, but if you see how the wind is all blowing from, from this direction, now let me take you and show you. So I've set my tarp up 
low over the hammock. And the reason that I've done that is because of body heat. Now, the, tar the closer the tarp is to the hammock, or the closer the tarp is to you, the more you're going to end up with retaining warmth inside here. Now, what I've done on this end, you'll see, is I have just kind of brought the the two back ends together. Uh, I actually need to bring that one out and restake it. Um, but I've brought the two back ends together and just seamed them the best I could. And uh, what that'll do is that'll kind of deflect the wind off of either side and help keep the breeze out of the tarp. And uh, that's the idea for that. So I need to go ahead and uh, make another stake and get that point stake back out. Okay, now we gotta go try to gather us up some firewood. There's another spot over here where somebody had already built a fire. So I'm gonna go scavenge some of the wood that was left over from here. There's some pine chunks here. Some of this little scrub oak. There's a lot of old pine in here that's been either blown down or burned off when they had the fires coming through here. And uh, so there's a lot of firewood to be had, but not a lot of good oak wood in here. Not good cooking wood anyway. This little pond. Gotta be real careful going down here though, cause man, there could be a gator or snakes down in this thing. Looks to be a old oak over here that has been burned or struck by lightning, but I don't know if there's any way to get to it. And I am not wading in those palmettas to get to it. Yeah, I don't think we're getting that one. Sure would like to have it though. There's another little pond right here. See, I keep seeing these oaks up in there and no dang way to get to them, I don't think. I know one thing, we're starting to lose light. I need to get this thing going pretty quick.
yeah see somebody came over here and got some uh pine from that stump I'm kind of back up here in these palmettas where if uh if I wasn't careful I could walk up on a walk up on a black bear there is uh there is berries all over the place back there which I'm not sure man there are they blueberries or what it's freaking winter time so hell I don't know that much about them I should know more I know that much but I don't okay so I'm gonna do like these guys did I'm gonna scavenge a little bit of what pine they left Just a few pieces to work. do what I need. Oh yeah, that lighter, see that, that color? That'll get a fire going quick if I can find some wood to build a fire with. Here's a lighter knot, just laying here on the ground. There's another one. Okay, take my silky saw and let's go see if we can find this something dry that's a little more substantial. Okay, so I made my way back into the scrub just a little bit off the trail and I found a couple of pieces of oak definitely not the best wood but it's got some pretty hard spots in it so I think I should be able to uh, cut that down and get us some cooking wood and maybe something that'll last a little while I found some really small scrub oak that we can use to cook with and I don't want a huge fire, but I would like to have a fire that's going to last more than just a couple seconds. So I'm going to cut this off and get this wood drug back to camp. Okay, so I just realized that I have been committing a big no-no for about the last 30 minutes or so. I've been collecting this firewood and it didn't even dawn on me that... I was starting to sweat and it doesn't you know it doesn't seem like it would be that big a deal here in Florida but with it dropping down to the low 40s or the high 30s tonight last thing I want to do is go to bed damp um, so I've taken off my hoodie and set it up there I'm letting this stuff dry out and I'm gonna slow down a little bit and not kind of be in such a hurry to grab this stuff I've got everything at hand now and uh, all I've got to do is put the fire together and get dinner cooking. So it's really not an urgent situation. So I can kind of back off a little bit, take it a little easier and enjoy myself. Um, I always do this. When I get um, a late start, I get out and I'm like wide open trying to get everything done. And I really don't enjoy myself when I do that. So now... I'm going to slow it up, uh, cool off a little bit, grab me a drink of water, and uh, just kind of get everything together and enjoy myself. That's why I came out here. Well, it was all nice and peaceful until the people that I decided to leave alone started doing target practice hopefully they'll give it up soon 
I gotta get a power belt. Well, I'm hoping they run out of bullets pretty soon. I got the fire started. I don't have to show you how to build a fire every time, do I? I know you guys probably think sometimes, oh great, he's gonna build another fire. Uh, I do, I like to build fires. Well, I don't know if those guys ran out of bullets or their arms just got tired from shooting. I don't know, but the sun is going down, the temperature's starting to drop, and uh, it's time for me to get this ribeye cooked. I got a big old ribeye to cook, and I'm gonna just roast it over the fire. But first, I'm gonna make me a cocktail. here and enjoy myself for the evening. That's good. I know it's too dark for you to see it, but I wish you could see the just the, the very end of the sunset over there over the trees right there. It looks looks really neat I know you won't be able to see it so it's not even worth me getting up and turning the camera over there but there's not really gonna be a moon tonight or not much of one anyway and the stars are super bright but uh, I'm gonna whittle this stick down and uh, find me a, a good fork piece in it and I'm gonna set one of these other logs over here cantilever it and roast that thing over the fire and if I'm gonna eat dinner tonight I gotta get that done so I'll catch back up with you here in just a little while before I go to bed boy that temperature's starting to drop now it's about time to put that hoodie back on so let me show you what I got to cook for dinner tonight got us a great big old steak right there and uh, I'm gonna prop this thing up and get it over fire get it cooking I think to start with I'm gonna just rack it right there Okay, so uh, for the morning, I've got my coffee, obviously, and uh, <clears throat> I got me some link sausage, and I uh, also got some uh, bacon-flavored grits, so that ought to be a pretty good breakfast in the morning. really enjoying myself out here it's uh very very pretty place out here it's only about a 15 or 20 minute hike in i'm not a big fan of leaving my truck out there by the road <clears throat> but it's it's a pretty good ways back up in here and there was a couple of other vehicles here those guys back there so you know hopefully fingers crossed everything will be fine um, as soon as I get done eating, I'm going to put my headlamp on and go ahead and go hang this bag before I go to bed. I uh, want to try to limit the chances of anything deciding to come up here tonight and check things out. So um, I think I'll be fairly warm in my, in my hammock tonight with my underquilt and all that stuff. But... Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. I brought some 
long johns and a and a long sleeve shirt to wear in case it gets too cold. Um, but I think I'll be okay. It's dark as can be out here. And uh, it's 7.17. <laughs> so I've still got a little while to, to go before it's time to go to bed. Well guys, I think I'm going to sit here and eat this steak and enjoy the rest of my evening. Now I'm going to get ready and climb in my hammock, enjoying me a cold night's sleep. I think I'll be pretty good in there fixing to give my wife a call believe it or not I mean I've got Verizon service and I've got plenty of service out here so I'm gonna give her a call and tell her good night and I think I'm gonna hit the rack so I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy the time lapses because I climbed out of a really nice warm sleeping bag so I could get up and try to get this for you so enjoy Something Pop taught me a long time ago when we were in Boy Scouts is that if you have any red coals left, you can put a pine cone on it and blow. And that pine cone acts very similar to fat lighter. It doesn't take much at all to get that thing going as long as it's dry. And so this morning I rolled out. It's cold, it's like 38 degrees, um, 39 degrees, somewhere right there. But, uh, Rolled out, grabbed a couple pine cones, threw them on the coal. Uh, another thing that I always do before I go to bed is I try to put a big log on my fire. That way in the morning it'll still have hot coals. But I threw a pine cone on there, blew on it for just a second, and it popped off. So I gathered up a bunch of pine cones to get the fire going where it's hot. And then I'm going to add some oak sticks to it here in just a few minutes. Let it burn down the coals and then we'll get that um, sausage on the fire and make some coffee. So that's the next order of business is making some coffee. Alright, so it's time for us to go over here and grab that bear bag and get us some sausage on for breakfast. Let's go. Now a bear bag should be a minimum of about 10 foot off the ground. And 
at least four foot off of the tree um and i've got that here so i was pretty good last night i think um in all reality if they wanted to they could just tear that string down and the bag would fall but um we made it through the night still got our breakfast so we're gonna get that thing down and go get it on the fire Now, I don't know if this is something you guys like to do or not, but I do it whether I'm camping or at home. You know, like, I got up this morning, it's freaking 38 degrees, 37 degrees, whatever it is. And my metal coffee cup has been sitting there this whole time. So, if I pour hot coffee in that cup, it's going to immediately start getting cold. So, what I like to do is, before I make my coffee, I pre-warm my cup. Well, I've got the sausages on the fire. I got the coffee made. I guess I gotta get back out of these sleeping pants and put my big boy pants back on and start getting this place cleaned up and ready to ease out of here. I got another stop I gotta make before I get home and I'm gonna tell you about that in a little while. morning coffee can't beat it now there are any number of reasons why you want to have a bandana with you in camp you can use it to bind wounds you can make char cloth with it but in my opinion this morning the most important reason is so I can grab my container and pour me another cup of coffee that ash is falling all over me yeah I know, still in my night pants, got my winter flip flops on, I still haven't changed into my big boy pants yet, but uh, just enjoying it here, this is an absolutely beautiful morning, it's starting to, the chill starting to burn off a little bit now, and when I got up it was cold, but now it feels nice. Wish I'd brought some shorts. Stupid. But <clears throat> I have made an executive decision. So I'm going to forego making the grits in favor of making another cup of coffee. Now, I could probably boil more water. I mean, I definitely could boil more water. I have water and I have access to water. But I think what my plan is, is I'm just gonna eat my sausages, drink my coffee, and uh, I'm gonna let this fire burn down a little bit and get everything packed up. And then uh, go ahead and get this fire put out good. And I'm going to go ahead and hike out of here. I've got another stop to make. 
Uh, a buddy of mine, Ian Reed, has acquired uh, some pieces I need for an upcoming video. I don't even know if you can see me through that smoke. Um, I've got a an adventure that I want to go on in an upcoming video. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make that into a, the, a whole nother video about, you know, telling you about the adventure and, and all that stuff. I think I want to do a whole other video on that, or I might even do it as a live stream, I don't know. Um, but I've got to go by his place while I'm over here and uh, pick that stuff up, and then we'll get headed back home. But right now... I'm going to drink my coffee, I'm going to eat these sausages, and uh, just kind of enjoy a little more this morning. I really don't have to be in a big hurry, but I would like to get on back home. I've got some stuff I need to take care of there, too. So, you know... <clears throat> I do several different types of videos, and uh, you know I do the DIY stuff. I do the my camping stuff here. I also do the sort of how-to stuff, and uh, I did my top three favorite fires. <coughs> my top three favorite fires video. And uh, it didn't get any traction, so um, what kind of videos is it that you guys want? I mean, uh, let me know in the comments what, what you prefer to see, what kind of stuff you'd like to see, and, and even some things that you'd like to see. Um, you know, I'd like to make the stuff that you want to make. Obviously, I, I want to make the stuff I want to make, too, but... I want to make stuff that you guys want to watch, so let me know in the comments what it is that you guys prefer. Okay, so I figured out through the power of Google that these are huckleberries. Very similar to the Florida blueberry, but the huckleberries have several large seeds in them, while the Florida blueberry has uh, a bunch of small, inconspicuous seeds, it says. So, I wanted to tell you about this little uh, hammock camping hack that I figured out last night. And it wouldn't work in the summertime, uh, but in the hammock last night, I had my hoodie on, and, uh, you know, I have the hardest time trying to keep this freaking pillow under my neck, and last night, I decided to stick this pillow in the hoodie, and I, I stuck the pillow in the hoodie, pulled it up, Cinched it down. And it stays right there behind my neck. Just a little, uh, I don't even know if you'd call it a hack, but just a little something that I thought I'd share with you. And like I said, won't work for the summertime. Works great for winter, though. Okay, so I went down and got water and put water all over the fire and cooled it down. <clears throat> but then the wind started kicking up again. So I decided that I would go ahead and uh, cover the fire up with dirt. Also that way, just in case the wind blew up and caught some sort of ember, um, it wouldn't be able to come back. So we got the fire safely out. We got everything packed up. It's time to get on the road.
Okay guys, so got everything all packed up. We're ready to get out of here. Um, just wanted to say a quick thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we put out one video roughly a week every other week. Um, I try to do it once a week, but I, you know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes. But um, if you like the video, like it comment on it let me know what you think um and i appreciate you guys like i said appreciate all of you watching from the bottom of my heart i appreciate it but uh you know i think we're all wrapped up out here um now it's just time to get back on the trail and get back to the truck so thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time